Welcome to this video on how to create a scrapbook page in Corel Paint Shop Pro. Creating scrapbook pages with pockets to hold travel mementos is very popular. In this example, we'll go over how you can create a digital pocket page with a three-dimensional look. Open Paint Shop Pro and make sure that the Edit tab is active. Next, from the File menu, select New Image. To make a standard size page, select 8.5 by 11 inches in the image dimensions. To select a background, click on the color swatch. In this example, we'll use the pattern fill that resembles artisan paper. Click OK to select the background and then OK again to continue. For the remainder of this project, you will need to have the layers palette open. To do this, click on View, Palettes and then Layers, or press F8 on your keyboard. Right-click on the layer and rename it to Background. Next, right-click on it again and select Duplicate. You can rename this new layer Foreground. Select the background layer and make it darker by going to Adjust, Brightness and Contrast, and then lowering the brightness. Click on the foreground layer and then the selection tool. Drag a rectangular selection across the top of the page and then hit the delete key. Click on the layer properties icon and the layer properties window will appear. Select preview on image and then put a check mark in drop shadow. You can move the drop shadow position around using the ball and guide in the center. When you have the shadow positioned where you would like it, you can adjust the size and opacity to determine how far the shadow will spread and how dark it will appear. When you have it the way that you would like, click OK to continue. This is a great way to make part of your image appear like a three-dimensional envelope. Now all we need to do is put some travel mementos into the sleeve. This is great if you have tickets, postcards, or tags that you can scan on your scanner. In this example, we have a postcard and some train tickets in a sleeve, and those images can be tucked in between these two layers of paper. To do this, first open the image, go to Selections, and choose Select All, or use the key combination Control and the letter A on your keyboard. Next, use Control and the letter C to copy. Click on your project, and then from the Edit menu, select Paste as New Layer. In the Layers palette, you can drag the layer with the image in between the foreground and the background, and then position it with the Pick tool. Now it looks like the postcard is inside the sleeve. The same process can be done for as many items as you want to appear in between those two layers. Adding photos works the same way, but these images will simply be placed above on the foreground layer. To make the images appear three-dimensional, use the layer properties and apply a drop shadow to those as well. You can also import graphics that have a transparent background. Just like how you would apply stickers or cutouts to a physical scrapbook, digital stickers can be a lot of fun too. To add text, click on the text icon in the standard toolbar and then click anywhere on the screen. Click in the center of the text box to move it around and into position. To recolor highlighted text, make sure that the Materials palette is open. If you do not see it, simply hit F6 on your keyboard and it will appear. Left click to change the outline color and right click to change the fill color. To fill the text with a gradient, click on the icon below the fill color and select Gradient. You will be able to specify the direction of the gradient and also the colors.
click OK and then save the gradient. You can also add a drop shadow to the text in the layer properties. When you finish this project, save it as a PSP image file. That way your layers will remain intact. To upload the image to the web or send it via email, you should always save a JPEG copy as well. When saving a file as a JPEG, you'll get a warning and this is because a JPEG can only maintain a single layer. Since you have a PSP image file as a backup, you can click yes to this message to continue. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a scrapbook page in Corel Paint Shop Pro.